What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time for another q and I don't have anything extra to say this time, Universes is doing great, so let's just get right into it. Wrestler456 asks, what is a game I hate that everyone else loves, and alternatively, a game I love that everyone else hates? Um, the game I hate that everyone else loves is probably Jack 2. I mean, going back to it, it's really not good, it's just, they like turned it into this, like, terrible GTA clone. Like, just the open world and cars and crashing and stealing stuff. Except in Jack 2, it's really clunky because the hover car controls are awful and they explode if you barely tap anything and kill you instantly, most of the time. And it's it's not a fun experience. And they went from the core platforming of the first one to sort of this mission junk. They also made Jack all edgy and ugh, it was just awful. Third one was good, first one was amazing, just that awkward middle phase. <laughs> Now, a game I love that everyone else hates. Um, it's actually an entire series. Call of Duty. I like it. It's it's actually a very fun shooter if you guys actually play it, but no seven-year-olds play it, so therefore it is a bad series. They're well-polished, well-made, and fun games to play. Sure, the same thing comes out every year, but you don't always have to move on. Hardly anyone moves on when a new one comes out. Brayden the Duck DoD asks, what do I think of Dan Versus? Never seen it. Dodgeball or baseball? Dodgeball. And who would make a better girlfriend? Lola Bunny or Tatsumaki? Okay, first of all, first question. Why Lola Bunny? Second question. What do these two have in common? Third question. Neither. That's not a question. I know, but neither. <laughs> Penguin of Frozen War asks, are traps gay? Yes. Um, will I ever use composite link in universes someday? Of course, I'll use a composite link, but I like splitting up all the separate versions because then it can give, because then if he loses, he has more of an excuse to, because it's not composite link. I don't like it when link loses. Hopefully he never loses again if he shows up. Um, and question number three, where do I vision myself in 10 years? 10 years? Buddy, I'm albino. I can barely vision myself right now. <laughs> um, seriously, I don't know. Probably doing professional voice worker stuff. That's what that's what I want to do. So yeah, good questions. Air Gear asks, Yep, yep, that's right. I see all those numbers in your name. I can leet speak. Yeah, what? What? Anyways, Air Gear asks, have I ever seen any of these animes? Uh Dragon Maid or Yu Yu Hakusho? Um, neither. I have heard of Yu Yu Hakusho and Dragon Maid, but I've not watched either of them. Um, Yu Yu Hakusho because I just haven't gotten around to it. I plan to though. And Dragon Maid, I'm just not interested. Yeah. Uh, question number two. What do I think of season four of Death Battle? Because in some ways Air Gear thinks it's worse than season three's, but in some way it's a lot better. Um, I agree there. Like, it started off really good and it's getting better, but there was this part in the middle, like 18 versus Captain Marvel, Sub-Zero versus Glacius, or whatever his name is. I don't play whatever game he's from. But yeah, there's this awkward phase in the middle where it just was really off. So yeah, I think it's worse in some areas and better in some areas too. One Slick Hero asks, do I have a good question to ask myself? Yeah. How about this one? What am I doing with my life? Question number two, Ken or Ryu? Definitely a Ken guy. I mean, I like Ryu, but he's a bit too basic. I like Ken's attitude and personality, and I like his sort of fire-ish key more. He just looks cooler and acts cooler. I, I'm a Ken guy. I'm a Ken guy. Fight me. Come on, fight me. And question number three. What do I think is the best song? Well, song opinions are very, very subjective. So, um, my personal pick is Dream On by Aerosmith. That is my favorite song of all time, and whenever I hear it playing, I get all happy. Kahe Wong asks, what's my favorite live-action show on Disney? Um, I didn't watch a lot of live-action Disney shows, but I do have very faint memories of Zack and Cody. And that's about all I can remember. So I guess Zack and Cody, the sweet life, not the one where they're on the boat, the one where they're in the hotel. That one. That's, that's the good one, right? <laughs> I can't remember. Um... Uh, question number two. Did I make any friends in that job training I went to? Oh yeah, by the way, the job training's over. Woo! Um, and the answer to that is no. Um, first of all, I'm not a very social person. I don't mean to be. 
I ju I'm just not. I mean, I don't mean to not be social, I'm just not. Um, and... Well, no, I didn't really have anything in common with anyone there. Everyone there was pretty much all, like, super SJW and anti-Trump, and I had to listen to them drone on about how terrible Trump is, and how, quote-unquote, great Obama is, and it was just not a fun time. Question number three. Who is my girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, and if I don't have one, who is my crush? Um... I don't want to see who my ex-girlfriends are because I don't want to reveal their identities, obviously. That would be rude. I don't want anyone harassing them. Um, uh, I do not have any current girlfriends, but there's one I have my eye on. Hoo 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 ha 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 ha. So, yeah. I am not going to disclose any of their names or identities because I do not want anyone going, Ah, oh, Leo likes you, or, ha, oh, uh, why'd you break up with Leo? So, yeah. Answer to that one, yes, but I won't say anything. A gaming potato asks, has there ever been a matchup that's so stupid but I wanted to do it anyways? Oh yeah, I got one coming up that's extremely stupid involving Spongebob but I want to do it anyways. And no, it's not Pinkie Pie. That's right, I finally have a matchup for Spongebob and it's not Pinkie Pie, so you can stop asking about it. Question number two, what's the worst Crash Bandicoot game? Definitely Crash Boom Bang for the Nintendo DS, it's just a really bad Mario Party clone. Um. Crash is usually good, he can usually rival Mario with his side games, like people say Crash Nitro Kart, Crash Team Racing, and Crash Bash are all on par or sometimes even better than Mario Party or Mario Kart. Yeah, I've actually heard people say Crash Team Racing is better than Mario Kart, which I, I agree with, no bias. <laughs> um, but Crash Boom Bang was very clearly just a poorly done Mario Party and it was not good. But hey, at least he's not Sonic, Sonic doesn't have any good spin-offs comparable to Mario's. Question number three, what is the nicest thing I've ever done? Um, I don't know exactly, I, I don't think that's my place to judge, but what I just did a minute ago with not revealing the identity of my exes, I, I guess that was pretty nice. Especially considering one of them cheated on me and ripped my heart out. <laughs> ZapSaz7 asks, which verse was way more powerful than I thought before I researched it? Definitely, um, Avatar, Last Airbender, definitely that verse. Because I didn't know how far the elements went. I thought it was... I seriously thought they were just like... Room to building level at most. Because we don't see them actually doing a whole lot uh, with their bending stuff on screen. Like, they smash through walls and stuff. They create pillars of fire, whatever. It was no big deal. But in the comics, Aang like lifted an entire town with earth bending, And it was crazy. So yeah, Avatar vs is definitely a lot stronger than I initially thought before going into it. Question number two, what's my guilty pleasure? Liking the B-movie unironically. Yeah, I said it. Question number three, which versus matchup do I find underrated? Definitely Epo vs Little Mac, because people just assume that since Little Mac fights cartoony boxers, he automatically wins because, ha, ah, goofy cartoon gags and Toon Force that Mac can scale to. Because cartoony boxers and yeah, Epo is more realistic. So therefore, Mac wins. And then they don't do the research because they think there's no difference. But that's not true. I actually, I'll actually go into this in a later video of why Epo wins. But he definitely has a lot more insane stuff like the variations in his punches and his speed and just all this crazy stuff. You'll see. Hero of the Emblem asks, who do I think would be a good matchup for Tsuyu Asui? from My Hero Academia, Academia, for those who don't know, that is the frog girl in the green suit, also known as frog baby, also known as frog waifu, also known as mine, and um, as for a matchup, I actually do have a really good one, but I do not want to spoil it because it is going to be an episode, it's not just an idea, it's going to be an episode, so I don't want to spoil it. Question number two, what do I think of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies? I've never seen them. Please don't shoot me. Question number three. Am I a member of any fandom that gets trashed on often? Um, yeah, I kind of said it earlier with the game I love that everyone else hates. Call of Duty. We're not all just a bunch of seven-year-old whiny babies and we're not all a bunch of, you know, MLG YOLO swag people. That, that's dumb. That, that's really dumb. Adam Gregory 3 asks, What are my thoughts on Kid Icarus's review of Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy and Tekken 7? I mostly agree with him on Crash. Um, um, as for Tekken, he can think whatever he wants to as his opinion, but I, in my personal opinion, I think he was way too harsh on the game. 
Like a 6 out of 10? I mean, I know a 6 out of 10 is good, but that's a lot taken away for just a couple modes you liked that weren't there and some disappointing character endings. Especially since you thought the gameplay was greatly improved, the story mode was amazing, and all this other stuff you praised. And yet, just because a few modes weren't there, it's, it's a 6 out of 10. What? I mean, again, you can have whatever opinion you want, but in my opinion, that was a that was a bit too harsh. I mean, I was a, probably a bit too generous in my review. I could take off another half a point, but Kettergris was a bit too harsh. Question number two. Is there any character in universes that I want to use but can't think of a good opponent for? Um, yes. Danny Phantom. I want to use him again. Not against Jake Long, like in fictional fights. I want a different opponent for him, but I cannot think of one to save, to save my life. I mean, I know some people say Juniper Lee. I don't know enough about her. I'll have to watch her show. But, yeah, Danny Phantom. F find me a guy for him to fight. Or girl. Either one. That's okay. And question number three. What is my favorite death battle at the time of this recording? It is still Snake vs. Sam Fisher. I, I don't think anyone's going to beat that one for me. I mean, the upcoming one, Balrog vs. TJ Combo, that might be a close second. Especially since Torian's doing it, so there might be some cool choreographed boxing. But for now, it's still Snake vs. Sam Fisher. I just... I just love that one to death. Pineapple Guy Carmine asks, In Tekken, if they turned a side character into the new main character to scale up to Jin, who would I want it to be and why? First of all, that's a very good question because I'd rather it be a side character than them making a new main character just for the sole purpose of being the main character, because then afterwards they become pretty stale. Uh, example being Lars and Elisa. Um, but the side character I want is Huarong, because he's been Jin's rival since Tekken 3, and it'd be, it'd be really cool to see if, like, how wrong trained just to become so superhuman that he could take on uh, the devils, just like Heihachi. Like if How Wrong became the new Heihachi and fought all the devils, that would be that would be so cool. And plus, he's already Jin's rival, so it'd be very interesting to watch. It'd be like a Naruto Sasuke sort of deal. How Wrong even has goggles. It is Naruto and Sasuke. <laughs> it's been. Oh, I just realized that. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, How Wrong. I mean, it could technically be Claudio, but he wouldn't really scale up since he naturally has Jin's weakness with this whole lightness, mysterious power thing. So, I don't know. It it wouldn't really make sense since Claudio wouldn't scale. It'd be like Lex Luthor with Kryptonite beating Superman, pretty much. Ooh, spent over a minute on that question. Anyways, question number two: Am I Water Tower level? Um, I don't know. Let me go check. I'll I'll check after this video. And if I don't ever make a YouTube video again, it means I'm dead and I am not Water Tower level. So yeah, there's your answer. And question number three. Would I ever use a character I hated in universes? Yeah, I did. In the very first episode. Sora. I hate Sora. I hate Sora. Um, but yeah, there's your answer. Thank you all for sending the questions. Please send more down in the comment section below. And Leopold the Brave, out.